Hey guys, what's going on? It's just me by myself for this next commentary. We've got Imperial Dramon Free versus Leviamon. Again, kind of a standard opening for Imperial Dramon. We got the new baby. It's a little hard to see from the glare, but that was the new baby that gives the plus 1k DP. We have all the new Vmon. Play the Searcher Vmon. We got an okay hit. Missed the Tamer, but there's some good pieces there. He ends up getting the Fighter Mode Ace. A quick little mat adjustment and Leviamon is good to go. Now, this could be interesting because, as we, as I think of a lot of us know, the new Imperial Dramon gives them tamers that just free drop the rookies for free, start of every main phase. Uh, that could be really, really tricky up against Leviamon. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, who also gives Imperial Dramon another tool to trigger whenever Leviamon plays or evolves by effect which even triggers off one of those training tools just played right there. So th th this could be really interesting because both decks have a way to like kind of react to one another. It just kind of depends on who gets to set up first. So Imperial pushes out. We are going to evolve to the new XV. We will get the memory off the new Vmon. Uh, the XV has jamming at home, so he can't be deleted in battle. So he is going to swing and he does get the free attack. The safe attack, I suppose I should say. And he does have the Thingmon. Now he can use the BT12 Vmon Inherit to end of turn DNA, and he will even gain the memory off the Thingmon. So, a great turn two for Imperial. This is exactly what you want to see. Yep, he even gets the new Pyodramon. With the DNA, he technically applies a stun to the opponent's board, where he, the opponent cannot unsuspend next turn. May not be too relevant at this point. I don't think Leviamon's developed enough for that to matter. We get our first check. It does not actually have jamming right now. Instead, he just has like a DP boost from the Vmon and next Vmon. So he does have to be a little bit careful because the Vmon does have some pretty strong bodies and security. We'll see if the second swing lives. And it does. And from here, he's kind of like... Okay, so he goes for the Tamer. He does not have Dragon Mode. Dragon Mode likely would have been the best thing to go into there. But the Daviskin does allow him to set up for next turn. But as, a, as I said before, that can also be something that Leviathan can kind of like react to. So Levi is going to come out. He does have the Protoform. Who ball for one less. He gets the Dobermon effect for all discard. Suppose at this point you want to just discard like a really strong piece. So yeah, he does that. He discards Seven Lightning. He is going to training, and because the Dragon Mode is on field, he doesn't have to worry about the Dragon Mode triggering its effect. So yes, he does get the Warrior Siegemon. Warrior Siegemon can do his special ability. However, it looks like, oh, that's right, Imperial Jamon does not have anything in trash right now. Yeah, so there's nothing in trash for Imperial Jamon to play. That does affect a few things. Leviathan's just going to red or purple memory boost, my bad. Uh, grabs normal Leviah. He probably wants to see X Antibody right now. And what do we do from here? We use the other boost. And I presume we're going to make that Leviamon he just added. Yes, he makes the Leviamon. Which will delete Pyodramon, but thanks to the new partition, Pyodramon does partition into XV and Sting. And Leviah will gain a memory. And anything else? Yeah, I don't believe Leviah gets... Does it delete again? I'm actually not positive, like, what the order of operations is here. So he deletes the thing. I'm not positive if that's, if that's legal or not. Um, I suppose partition is interruptive. If partition is interruptive, that does work. So, Daviskin is going to free play a rookie, and because there's no Biting Crush uh, or Dragomon, uh, they don't have to worry about it, but they decided either not to play a rookie or they just didn't, like, have it. Um, like, at this point, it's a little bit rough, because since they didn't free play that rookie, that meant they can't get an end-of-turn DNA set up, and now all they have to do is just, like, swing the sex fee to just get the check. 
Honestly, not a great scenario because if Leviathan gets a chance to set up the Biting Crush next turn, like, they could be in a lot of trouble. Hmm. So we're just going to Davis for the Memstead and to grab some pieces. We do get a Singmon, and sadly that's all we get. Hopefully there's another XV that we have prepared. Yeah, he's just like debating like which Singmon he wants. And he goes for the starter deck one that gives the draw. He did not go for the memory one. And from here, the crocodile's just gonna eat. What do you guys think? Is Hulaim on a crocodile or is it something else? Um, at Nats one year, there's a guy going around like asking people questions on what Levimon is. Um, I think Horse was like a joke question or something. Anyway, so we are gonna swing security. He does get an inherit draw discard. He'll probably drop Levi X if he has it. No, he dropped the training instead, and he has another draw discard. Or no, that's a Sumon effect draw one, that's right. So it's three checks. Or no, two checks, that's right. It's a Vimon X who does three checks. Apologies. Um even though I play competitively a lot, I actually I actually have not played against Levimon very often. Which yeah, I just didn't match up against it very often in BD15. And now that BD16 is around, like, it's gonna show up even less. So we do get the Ruin Mode, which is a pretty... It's pretty rough at this point, because there's literally nothing that Imperial Jermon can set up. Um, he, re he just played the Davis Kin Tamer. If you want my opinion, I think that was a mistake. I think the best thing to do would have been to just climb to level 5 in Racing. Because now... Like, that could have guaranteed a body he could have pushed out on board next turn. Playing the Davis Kin ensures that, again, he has to go through another Ruin Mode Blanket, and again, can't do anything. Now, Leviamon, you know, this Ruin Mode stack is going to die if he attacks, so he's probably debating, like, what he wants to do about that, if he wants to commit to that attack or not. I think committing to the attack would be correct. But he is going to try to develop another stack. He gets the Garuru effect to draw the discard. Gets the discard first. Discarding that Levi X, we finally found it. Draw off Suno. He technically should have drawn off the other Suno, I think. I think that was a missed trigger. And now we're getting the Guru X, which is, you know, I mean, he's already drawn through his deck a lot, so it's not surprising that he's seen it, but still, it's such a ridiculous one of. Dropping Therpers X and Garuru should be gaining a memory. Yeah, if he has the Drago, he should he should have like oh he has the protoform anyway, so he doesn't have to worry about the memory gain. Yeah, so we go for the Cerberus X for Chu, which is going to draw this guard and then play something from trash. And then because something is played, I believe he will then do the via X. Yeah, effect, we're gonna play something from trash. Godzimon would be, like, okay here. That can stop a few things against Imperial Dramon. Um, I, I can't see his entire trash, so I'm not sure what the most ideal target would be, but Godzimon makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we're gonna Ruin Mode in. Oh yeah, gain the memory off Inherit's. Draw a card off Inherit. Or draw a card off Attacking. My bad. We're gonna get the check. End of attack, we do... Not only do we recover, we also get the protoform into security. So protoform is interruptive, so that should happen first. Or possibly not. I mean, my my intuition was that it would be first because it's interruptive. Oh wait, I think protoform is supposed to only be off of your opponent's deletion. Right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so that card should not have been... That protoform shouldn't have been recovered. Yes, I just checked. Protoform is not supposed to recover if it's deleted by your effect, so that card shouldn't have been recovered. But at the same time, he forgot to recover off Ruin Mode. I forgot if Ruin Mode requires a Tamer for the recovery. We do play the token to the opponent's side of field. Yeah, Rune Mode is supposed to recover, regardless of if there's a Tamer or not, so it kind of, like, 
it sort of evened out because the protoform was not supposed to be recovered, but the ruin load should have recovered, so we've kind of evened out a little bit. Um, so Imperial Jamon's still under a ruin load blanket. Honestly, like I said before, he would have been in a much better position if he had built in raising instead of playing that tamer. Um, he probably still would have lost, um, but he could have at least like done fighter mode ace to suspend and bottom deck the love I am on X. Like it, it's one of the things where sometimes like, I know that Imperial Jamon is supposed to DNA Digivolve, but there are times where you have to think outside of the box. Um, I don't want to spoil the match, but there was another match where something similar happened, where Imperial Jamon was trying to dig for the DNA, but in the situation he was in, it was actually better for him to have just, like, evolved up into Pile Jamon normally. That would have allowed him to have a much better turn. Um, like, it definitely is, like, you know, you want to do the DNA. That's what the deck is, that's what the deck is supposed to do. But the thing is that, like, sometimes depending on the situation, like, that's not the right thing to do. Um, so, like, it is unfortunate that it happened to Imperial Jamon, but at the same time, I feel like I feel like there was a better a way to approach that situation. And, again, it just involves thinking outside of the box, because DNA Digivolve is not always the proper way of doing the deck. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope you watch the next part of our BT16 tournament.